Hello and welcome back to Incredible Immersion of Animals with me, Bill. And in this video we're going to be taking a look at the giant peppered cockroach. So, let's take a look. Okay, so here we have the giant peppered cockroach or Archimandrita tessellata. Now, these guys are one of the largest uh, cockroaches. They're not quite the largest, there's a few species uh, above them. But the elves of these guys are exceptionally uh, large species. So they're also sometimes known as the giant leaf cockroach, as well as uh, hopefully you can see here. There's a few that uh, they we can see uh, in the leaf litter, but they can be incredibly difficult to actually spot amongst the leaves. Well, that's because they are really well camouflaged, obviously, to blend in with dead leaves. And that is their natural habitat: is the leaf litter of the forest floor uh, in Guatemala, Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia. Now, now these guys for me are an absolutely fantastic species. Uh, very sort of similar to the Death Z cockroach, um, but yeah, a little bit bigger, not quite as big as a giant cave, um, and, uh, well, with a slightly different sort of patterning uh, on the head shield. And, uh, now, these guys' wings uh, for the, the species only develop when they are fully grown adults. Now, they're not really used for fly flying, but they can sort of glide to the ground um, if they so choose. Well, what they will do, males will use their wings in displays to each other, so they'll flash their wings at each other um, in communication. Females will do that a bit as well. Um, males will also show their dominance uh, with that too. Here you can see a couple here just cleaning their antennae. Uh, I find this incredibly cute when cockroaches do that. So, now, these guys uh, are, are a fairly easy cockroach uh, to keep. Um, like with many cockroaches, what a nice uh, set for substrate. Uh, that's made up of organic matter, so I use organic compost, sometimes a bit of coir mixed in there just to bog it out. But leaf litter, lots of leaf litter, um, which they will eat, and it also gives them hiding places as well. So I've rotten wood to eat, twigs of lichens, uh, they absolutely love lichens. And then I feed them a mixture of fruit, vegetables, mushrooms, and so all sorts of things like that. Um, but essentially, if it's you know anything that's organic and decaying, they will eat it. They'll also eat some dry stuff as well, so occasional fish flakes, um, even some cereals and stuff. And um, you can give them, and obviously, you know, things like roach chow um, as well. So you can see, uh, you know, in here always have uh, some twigs of lichens in the form. And lichen is a great food source for a lot of uh, the sort of detritus for uh, animals, um, and it's a free food and stuff. So always go out looking for for twigs of lichens. Now they are. Uh, you know, fairly handleable and stuff. I find the females tend to be slower than males. So, uh, females are also a little bit bigger as well. And here, there we go. There, it just had a little jump there. You sort of see how it uses wings just a bit, just to help glide it down. So, but they, I said, they're a fantastic species. Uh, if you do get a species, it can take sort of a year or so to get the colony going. So, but once they're going, there's no stopping them. I find they like it slightly warmer. Than some species. Uh, here's a little nymph. Nymphs are quick and berry. Here's another limp, uh, but the others are out and about all the time. Okay, so that was the giant peppered cockroach. What do you guys think? Firstly, they are one of my favourite cockroaches to work with. Currently keep these at my work, so I don't keep them privately. So, but they are an absolutely fantastic species to display as well within the zoo. So guys, if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. And if you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. But until next time guys, take care, stay safe and keep rocking.